For more than 20 years, a Chicago-based group of African-American men and women have run an Afrocentric outdoor ministry program for inner-city youth known as Simba, Safe in My Brother's Arms. As a result, hundreds of at-risk children experience the beauty of the outdoors each summer, while also being immersed in a structured, loving community filled with positive role models and supportive affirmations. Simba was born uh, to try to redirect young African-American males uh, in a more positive, healthier path than they were taking. We started Simba right in the middle of uh, the Big Lion King hoopla. And so Simba is a Swahili word for young lion. We originally set out to reach out to those young people that had some desire to change their lives, some desire to move out the madness. Safe place and healthy role models is what we're missing. And so we set out to create Simba, taking them out of their environment, away from their peers, away from their daily madness that they deal in, and allow them to open up, find themselves, and hopefully redirect and move closer towards Christ. Fortunately, we had some young ladies who shadowed the program, looked at it, got interested in it. They created it and took it and said, Simpsa, safe in my sister's arms. Eventually, Simba and Simpsa gave rise to Rescue, Release, and Restore, an organization dedicated to transforming self-worth and empowering youth through leadership training, artistic expression, and mentoring. This summer, the organization branched out even further, launching a new initiative, MyLove, the Multicultural Youth Leadership Academy. It's a really scary time for people of color, I think, to be living in the United States right now. We tend to see our kids making changes and standing above the rest of their classmates in school. We tend to see our kids standing up and being youth Christian leaders. We have to let them know what life is like outside of their little community, or they won't survive. So it's a long-term process. It requires a whole lot of pieces, a whole lot of tools. Where do we go with our questions about how do we navigate understanding our differences and how do we get along? Lives are, are, are changing, belief systems are changing, we are empowering our youth. To keep this going, to grow it, to magnify it, is the power of separation. We need resources and funds. They support us in helping these young children. All of our nation builders have taken off work, in many cases without pay, just to be able to volunteer and give this time for the children. It's all volunteer. On average, we raise 80% of every kid's cost to come in. And we've just realized that all the stumping we've been doing locally is just not enough. Look at what has happened. We've taken a child from feeling like I'm not worthy to a place where she now is comfortable in her own skin. And I think that that's a beautiful thing. Since the inception of the Simba Circle Camps, many have experienced and witnessed its power to change the lives of children, families, and communities. In order for this change to continue, they need your support. Over 95% of the children that attend these camps are from low-income households. We need you to provide the financial support to send a boy or girl to this empowering camp. Join us. Send your support today by calling, online giving, or mailing your check to the places listed on your screen. Thank you.